I'm trying to edit this P1 video. I'm moving videos from my uh, my cell phone right now to my hard drive that I hooked up, right? That you've seen. Everything will be in order. Uh, this is just how behind I am. And literally, you can see. Watch, look at my mouse cursor. It's trying to do playback. Look at that, look at that, look at that. See that? Watch this, watch this. Look at the mouse cursor, hang. The audio hangs with me watching the video just trying to edit this. Look at that. Look at that. I'm not even BSing, man. Who, what, you think I just stopped moving my hand? It literally hangs. You can see the video hang as well. Watch. See that? My mouse cursor hangs. I'm not stopping it. Watch it. Oh my god, how do I do this? Does this work? Yeah. See, look at that. Look at that. Look at that. Watch this. It's going to stop. It's going to stop moving. Come on. Show the world how broken you are. Don't be camera shy, Zen. Garbage. Hangs. 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 Come on, do it again. Hangs. 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 Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm not even making this shit up. I, I wouldn't go out of my way by Comet Lake. Literally eight months post-launch over a 5950X. Who, who in the world would do that? You know why they do it? Because it works. I've spent two months, man, on this just tweaking, tweaking, audio crackle. I, I just tried to do a voiceover for this because the, I don't want to have curse words or whatever. I was, I was angry at the time. I just want to do a voiceover. I'll do a voiceover for 30 seconds. The audio cuts out again. Dude, it's garbage, man. I, I don't even care anymore. It, it, why is there USB issues? Why why is there this unnecessary BS? I've never had any USB issues on this. I, I picked this up. This one performs better in my 9900K. I get higher clocks. I mean, I have stock. I mean, I haven't even delayed or anything. My BIOS boots faster. The settings work. The overclock settings. RAM was a click. The CPU was one click. I, I mean, I don't even know what I'm doing. And like, if I, let me clarify. If I did not know what I was doing, this worked so easy. Eventually they might fix the USB issues on B550 and maybe X570. I don't know, man. I just, no, nah, it, it's it's not worth. Maybe if they make X670 motherboards, the issue will be fixed. But like this, this is this is garbage. It's 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 not worth. I'm not, I'm never gonna recommend this to anybody, dude. No. And then the Gen 4 riser cable issue, where I spent like two hundred dollars on riser cables. No, nah, dude, I'm not recommending this to anybody, dude. No. Until the bugs and everything are fixed, and you know Zen 3 Plus is out or something, and there are no bugs. Like it wins by ten percent, twenty percent over intel and there are no bugs until then no no this this isn't worth at all it's too much pain the pain you deal with on this is trying to transfer the heat to the radiators the heat density of zen even though it's more power efficient with those ccds and you've seen it with the 5800x it doesn't transfer the heat as efficiently nothing moves heat better than direct die on an intel cpu it, if it worked perfectly i wouldn't be complaining i would i wouldn't even i dropped 800 on this think about that why in the world would I buy this if I was making this up? Eight months after launch, I wouldn't even bought a 5950X. I wouldn't have got a second 5950X. I wouldn't have got another B550 motherboard. I wouldn't ask my friend how his 5800X performs. I wouldn't ask my other... He bought a 5900X. He looked at Kit Guru's videos. I mean, and he looked at the, uh, I should say the website, and he looked at the Cinebench scores. He's having issues. I have a friend with a cross share Impact DTX, same thing. Optimum Tech had boost clock issues on his 5900 5950x on a strix by b550 itx a strix x570 itx and even his cross street impact dtx he believes there isn't an issue but no dude 2000 f clock is an issue i already said my friend with a kingpin has the issue so no no this is this is terrible i'm not sure if this is just gonna be just a singular little update video or if it's gonna be um part of something but i, I don't recommend this at all dude this is absolutely painful and if, and if you built this for like just playing games you, you just chose the wrong platform if you want it for work yeah dude optimize it until you know you you can get those compiling results and you know you can be happy with getting the performance that you paid for but um maybe you'll get that performance one day after all the bugs are ironed out but like i said from now on this is my stable platform and uh, i don't care from now on i don't care this is the stable platform 
and when Rocket Lake comes out, I'll get it. But if there's issues, this is my stable platform. No BS. I'll probably get the X, uh, my bad, Z4590 motherboard. If they're improved, they're better. I, I was going to say the PCI Gen 3.0 riser cable issue would still be there, but no. Intel has an iGPU. Rocket Lake will have Intel XC graphics, so you can adjust the setting from Gen 4 to Gen 3 for the riser cable. You won't even have an issue. Performance-wise, at Gen 3, you'll still be fine, you know, even with a 3090. You just have the issue on Ryzen, and for some reason, AMD doesn't want to release like the actual good zen apus until 2022 where you can get zen 3 or zen 3 plus and rdna2 on an apu and then because you don't have that chiplet shit you know you have ring bus you know you can have you can have something that's actually equivalent to intel i'm, I'm just so salt nobody talks about this nobody nobody's mentioned this at all and it's just been nothing but problems if it's fixed yeah it's, it's it wins if the memory latency was better than intel if there was no software bugs just today and yesterday there was some bs that came up with epic games launcher causes ryzen cpus to idle at like 57 something 60c versus like 37c w what are these stupid bugs like you're paying 800 dollars for a 5950x after tax i paid 858 like it's not like i didn't pay real money and somebody's gonna say why don't you get a 5900x then because dude i wanted the best to run benchmarks just like a 9900k because all i would have to do is disable hyper threading and i have a 9700k and then you can run it like that same thing with a 5950x you just disable two cores on each CCD, they're 5900X. If you want to disable one whole CCD, then you have a 5800X done. No, it's just it's just been garbage. I'm not I'm not gonna lie. I'm not paid to lie for this shit. I'm not even paid compensation for all the time I wasted on this. If you want no problems and you actually care, just get this and keep it. Anything else and, and, and this has the higher one percent lows. So so no BS, this feels smoother. Even if both of them are getting 220 FPS, if this drops to 120 and the other one's dropping to 78 or even 89 you're retarded if you can't feel the difference that's it maybe maybe your reaction time is that slow but no and and, and retard actually means slow so that is a perfect application for this word anyway I'm, i won't even take any chances with alder lake and stuff because it's a new architecture and if, if there's any bugs that this is the stable i'm happy with this and i'll check out the new stuff but if there's any issues this is this is my stable and i'm happy with it the only con way is it runs hot i might even direct dia at this point and or just do the copper ihs but like the reason why i don't want to build a loop or do the direct die is because then when i want to move it move this cooler to another like a ryzen cpu like a test bench wise this ihs ah my bad this cooler I don't want to mess up the compatibility for mounting it. I also don't want the direct die stains on all of my copper cold plates on my AIOs. Same thing for the GPU. If the GPU is on a block, then I can't move it to like another test bench and put it back. I would need it as is, like singularly. So the Kingpin is nice because it has a 360 AIO. So we can just attach it onto this or attach it onto the 5950X. Anyway, that, that's pretty much it. Just an update. Okay. Peace.